from San Diego Derby Dolls and today we're going to break down a power slide stop which is a good stop that you can use um, anytime that you need to stop immediately. Okay so you, to break down the steps of a power slide and when you're you're first doing it things are always different than when you are doing it on the spot. Um, after you're more advanced you'll skip a couple of the steps but in the beginning you kind of need to break it down. So in the beginning you're going to start off skating forwards you're going to go sideways for just a second you're going to shift your weight to the other side and pick up a foot and put it down. When you finish your stop, you're going to be standing in a T-stop position, but like elongated, so your legs will be stretched out. So in the beginning, when you are doing your power slide, at first it's not going to be real smooth. You're going to go forwards, you're going to go sideways, you're going to pick up your foot, and it's going to go go, 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 across the floor like that. And that's where you have to really like put some weight into the front and dig back with the back. So I'll try to do it slowly here for you, and then I'll do it fast so you can see what it actually looks like in motion. Slowly, it's like this. Fast, it's like So when you first start off, it's going to do a little da 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 da, and that's okay. It's just like when you first learned a T stop. Originally, it was like da, 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 behind you, and eventually, you learn how to dig and make it smooth. So let's see what it looks like on the right track. <laughs> so there's some factors that can make it easier for you to do a power slide. For example, if you're on the bank track, it's masonite. It's a smoother surface, so it's easier to get that slide. Um, also, the combination of uh, really uh, tight, hard wheels on a grippy, sticky surface will help you do it. And if you skate on concrete or um, or sports court or something like that, it should be real easy. You should go real smooth, unless your wheels are really soft and grippy. So here on the bank track, same thing. I'm going to start off forward. I'm going to go sideways for just a second. I'm going to pick up my foot and put it down. I'll show you. Okay, so you want to work on your sideways skating, because even though you don't stay sideways for very long, it's just the whole principle of getting used to um, being sideways and then trusting your foot on, trusting your weight on the opposite foot for a second. So you want to practice a little sideways action. You want to practice trusting one leg with your weight and then the other leg with your weight while both are on the ground. And that'll sort of help you get the whole principle behind it. Okay, so after you've worked, worked on practicing it for a little while and you're focused on the bottom half of your body, then you want to focus on what the top half of your body is doing. Because if you go to go do a power slide like this, and you're staring at your foot the whole time, you're not actually going to be lined up right. You want to get your shoulders square in the opposite direction of where your foot's going. So when I'm going forwards, I'm going to actually, with the first part of my power slide, I'm going to look back behind me. I'm going to pick something to look at. I'm going to have that be my focus. So I'm forwards, I'm sideways, and I look at something. Whatever I'm looking at over there, I'm going to act like I'm going to stop a train with my hands. This gets my shoulders um, squared and in the right direction. So I'll show you what that looks like. I picked that fan over there, I stared at it, and I went to stop a train with my hands. While I just trusted the back half of my body to do what it needs to do. Okay, so breaking it down, you're going forwards, sideways, shift your weight to the other leg, pick up a foot, put it down, slide it back behind you, and with your upper body, pick a point, stop a train, and it'll keep your shoulders lined up so the back of your body can do what it needs to do without you twisting off your body weight, because if you're looking down here, the whole stop is encumbered by your the upper body weight. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm sure you get it with a little bit of practice.